Sir Richard Branson is a bit of an eccentric. Sure, he's a brilliant businessman and has started several successful ventures under the Virgin Group, including airlines like Virgin Atlantic, Virgin Australia, and Virgin America. But he's still the man who once dressed up as a female flight attendant after losing a bet. So when I tell you that one of his companies now has a 747 that's capable of launching rockets, you might think it's just another publicity stunt. But that couldn't be further from the truth. This rocket launching 747 has the potential to be a game changer in space commercialization. Let me explain. Now, a lot of you have probably heard of Virgin Galactic, the space tourism company that Branson started back in 2004. It's got this really unique and sleek looking space plane that's designed to carry passengers to the edge of space to experience a few minutes worth of weightlessness. But you might not have heard of Virgin Orbit, the lesser known arm of Virgin's space business. Unlike Virgin Galactic, Virgin Orbit has no designs to carry humans. Rather, their goal is to reduce the cost of launching small satellites into orbit. The miniaturization of electronics has allowed satellites to get progressively smaller over the past several years. However, many of the world's most established rockets, such as the SpaceX Falcon 9, are pretty big and are simply overkill when it comes to carrying these smaller devices. As such, a lot of these satellites are deprioritized and end up as secondary payloads on larger missions. This phenomenon has created a whole new industry with companies building smaller rockets that are better optimized to carry these miniature satellites. Virgin Orbit is one of these companies and it's taking a pretty unique approach. Rather than build a small rocket that launches from a traditional launch pad, it's designed a rocket that's meant to launch off a 747. The 747 that's being used, aptly named Cosmic Girl, is a retired 747-400 that previously flew for Virgin Atlantic, but it's undergone some radical transformation since its years carrying people. First off, it's been completely gutted of its interior to save on weight, it lacks seats, overhead bins, galleys, lavatories, and even the sidewalls that you'd find on any other commercial jet. Further, the underside of its left wing now features a massive clamp that's designed to hold onto the rocket. Okay, so how does this whole system work? Well, a typical launch day will look something like this. The rocket is fitted to the mount below Cosmic Girl's wing and loaded with propellant. At the same time, ground teams inspect the rocket and its systems to make sure both vehicles are in good health. Once complete, the flight crew boards the plane, taxis out to the end of the runway, and takes off. They ascend to 10,000 feet where they do another round of systems checks, and if everything looks good, they ascend to their launch altitude of 35,000 feet. This is where things get interesting. Once at 35,000 feet, the flight crew will enter a racetrack holding pattern, essentially circling the launch zone for several minutes. During that time frame, a complex pressurization system that's been retrofitted onto Cosmic Girl pressurizes the rocket's fuel tanks. Once pressurization and final checks are complete, the 747 aligns itself towards the rocket's intended trajectory and pitches up to 30 degrees to align the rocket towards space. Once everything is aligned, the rocket is released, it waits 5 seconds, then it ignites its motor and heads to space. This is undeniably a really cool system. But why exactly are they doing it this way? What are the actual benefits of launching from a 747? Well, there are actually several. Probably the most important though, is it gives the rocket a head start on its journey to orbit. Rockets use an insane amount of fuel during their 10-ish minute ride to orbit, and depending on the rocket and payload, they can use anywhere from 20 to 40% of that fuel just to reach Mach 1. This is partially due to the fact that the rocket needs to punch through the lower layers of atmosphere, 
an area that induces the most drag on the vehicle. Cosmic Girl helps to negate this by lifting the rocket above the thickest layers while also getting the rocket to near Mach 1 before the rocket motor ever fires. In addition, the 747 provides greater launch flexibility. While traditional rockets require a singular launch pad to operate from, Cosmic Girl effectively turns any runway into its own launch site. Further, while launches are often scrubbed due to weather, Cosmic Girl can fly to clear air to limit launch delays. Now, as you may imagine, flying such a unique plane is no easy feat. Its handling characteristics are quite a bit different than your average 747, especially when you consider that the 50,000 pound rocket is offset under the plane's left wing. This weight imbalance can be partially offset by only fueling up the tanks in Cosmic Girl's right wing, but this in of itself presents more flying challenges and creates its own imbalance once the rocket is released. As such, Virgin has selected some of the world's most experienced 747 pilots to head up this operation. They've also put Cosmic Girl through a battery of tests to ensure its handling in different conditions is well known and that its pilots are comfortable with how it flies. After years of practice, Cosmic Girl was finally ready to launch its first rocket back in May. Unfortunately, that flight didn't go so well. Cosmic Girl handled wonderfully, but the rocket itself failed just a few seconds after it was released. But that's okay, rocket science is obviously hard and engineers certainly learned a lot from the failure. And lest we forget that SpaceX failed to get a rocket into orbit until their fourth demonstration flight. Ultimately, Cosmic Girl has a bright and exciting future ahead of it, as it aims to redefine what a launch pad really is. Now, there are a ton of really unique 747s out there. There's the 747 that carried the space shuttle, a 747 that carries a telescope, a 747 that fights fires, a 747 that tests new jet engines, etc. If you guys are interested in learning more about those other unique 747s, let me know in the comment section below and maybe I'll turn this into a series. Thanks so much to my patrons for helping make this video possible. And as always, if you learned something new today, leave a like and subscribe to keep learning. And until I see you again, don't forget to look up.